Imagine taking a mood board and converting it into a full render in seconds. Better yet, take a 2D floor plan and convert it into an AXO without having to draw a single line. That's what Rayon AI is promising and that's what we're going to test today. So let's turn around to this screen and get started with today's tutorial. So let's get started by talking about the AI panel itself. We're in Rayon Design today with a template that we're using and I'll share this in the description down below if you want to follow along. On the left hand side of our panel you see AI chat. Now if it's the first time you're using it you have to accept their privacy policy so you should go ahead and accept. You can read terms and conditions of course but to get in you gotta press accept. Now the chat can do a few things. It can help you with Rayon itself so you can ask generic information. You can generate basic images so for instance generate an image of a sofa. We can even ask her things about templates, but we're diving in a little bit deeper today. We're going through three different workflows in Rayon using their AI tools. And depending on when you're watching this, this should be available to everyone because the AI panel went live November 12th, and this video isn't going live till the 21st of November. So everybody following along should have access to this AI panel. Let's start crazy basic. We have this picture of a very typical console table that might be the front of your home, in the living room, or potentially even a bedroom. And let's say you want this exact thing to be turned into a block. First, import it into Rayon so we can start using these amazing AI features. And then all you have to do is come across to generate and press the generate button. Now you have two options, tracing and blocks. For now, let's just go block. Give it a few seconds. You'll see on the left-hand side of the panel, it's generating a block. It's actually generating a family of blocks, which is amazing, but it does take a couple minutes to get there. In this time, I'll just quickly specify that this is in beta still, and Rayon is pushing out all these amazing AI features as quick as you can blink. So obviously there's gonna be some glitches and they're still in beta, but we get to test them. We get to be the first adopters. So I'm okay with a few glitches with the speed of Rayon's new AI features. And there we go. On the left-hand side in generator blocks, we're gonna have the sideboard come up with the job stated as completed. Clicking our way through, we can drag and drop a couple of these sideboard items in. So you see it's created a front elevation of the sideboard. It's created a, a top-down version as well. Now from there, we can obviously build upon it and make it even better. So let's just go edit the sideboard. We can delete the accessories on top, go into our block libraries and find some accessories. Something like this vase and candles and collection of books might be perfect straight out of Rayon itself, drag it on top. Then we can continue to edit. We can add some fills. We could add some color. We could add some texture. So let's click on the main side table itself and just add a fill. Maybe we want a texture. Maybe we want a hatch. Maybe we want to use an image itself. In this case, let's say we want to add a fill. We've got a walnut fill we've downloaded off the internet. We can use any real colors, textures, fills, or materials that we'd like, of course, as well. Because it is making it very quickly, sometimes we might actually have to edit some of these elements, drag them across, add new path elements, so that when we do add some fills, the fill actually works over the entire model itself. Now, that's the quick, easy way to just add fills on top. Obviously, we can go ahead and add our own 2D lines, match the existing wood color as best we can with our textures, and spend a bit of time on the model. If we did so, it would look something like this compared to the very quick generic model we get out of the AI generated block. If we'd repeat that process, for instance, go to Pinterest, look for an office chair. Let's say we like this office chair here. I'll just save this to my downloads, import it into Rayon. Because it is in beta, it's best to use very, very simple images. So it might have some trouble with the shadows, but Rayon has an easy fix built in. We just simply go edit image, remove background. That background's gone, press done. Perfect clean image. And then let's turn that into a block again. On the left hand side, it will generate an entirely new block. And while we wait, we'll also explore the generate tracing option. So I've just hit the trace button so we can see the differences between the two. Now our generated chair for the block is complete. So let's just import that into our project, which is the office chair right here. Double click, drag it bigger so we can compare the pair. In all honesty, a few seconds to take this chair into a perfect block is pretty bloody good. Now our trace is also complete, so let's just import that into the job. We have our office chair with multiple blocks, and here is where we get our top view, our side view, and of course that front view we previously had. Now the trace in my opinion is quick and easy, gives you nice blocks, 
gives you nice outlines which you can use as well to replicate from the original side table to get closer to the finished product without having to do as much work but the block itself is significantly more detailed and a much better finished product. Now, as you can see, all of this was generated in a matter of minutes compared to the hours it would take to trace each individual item, figure out all the different views, and then add it into your project. So this is an absolute game changer that will save you so much time. Next, we wanna take a furniture set like this and create a render like this. So let's go to our AI chat. First of all, down the bottom, we're gonna ask Rayon, to create a render using these items of a bathroom with terrazzo tiles. Next, we're gonna add content. We're gonna add a screenshot from the canvas. Simply click, drag, click again, and send it to the Rayon AI chatbot. Just like all the other chatbots that we're used to, it'll think, it'll work, and then eventually it will give us an image. Here's the first preview image it's given us, and it's, it's done okay. It hasn't done perfect, it hasn't got the tower rail right, but it's definitely a good starting point. Let's try and make it a little bit better. Let's ask it to make it an accident image so we see a floaty hand basin with wall taps and replace the wall tiles with light beige terrazzo. Once again, hit send and see what it gives us. All right, now we have a top-down accent metric and it's much, much closer. So the toilet is pretty much bang on. The taps for the hand basin are bang on. We've got our flowers. The shower rose is close and the tower rail is close. Let's see if we can force it to get the right objects. So we're just asking it to replace the shower rose and tower rail with one from the screenshot and letting it do its thing. As you can see, it takes a little bit of time and some tinkering to get what you want. Sometimes it'll just completely change gears. So for instance, the first time I asked it to replace the tower rail and the shower rose, it gave me a completely different layout. Then it gave me a better layout, corrected the shower to a little bit better, but it just couldn't get the towel rail right yet. This time I've asked it to create a room render looking from the door towards the shower using the mood board as reference, light beige tiles, and I've screenshotted this entire page. So we'll see what it comes back with. Once again, it didn't get that image right, so maybe we try to take it the next step forward by providing it with an actual floor plan of the layout we're looking for. As you can see, the render it's provided us isn't exactly to what we were expecting, but it has provided us with a very good render using the mood board. With a little bit more fine tuning in the wording, a little bit more practice, I'm sure we could get it to generate what we want. But being beta and being AI, it's gonna have a little bit of its own freedom that we may or may not like. Next, let's grab this internal elevation of a kitchen and see how well the AI can produce an axonometric from the information we're gonna provide it. Simply, we're gonna ask it to generate an axonometric drawing from this apartment section, screenshotted this and pressed go. And in a matter of seconds, it's built out a axonometric of our view. Now, is it accurate? No, but we haven't given it all the information to be fair. Realistically, this should have been one long island with the fridge on the back wall and the island in the middle, but it has given us an L-shaped kitchen with an island, which, to be honest, isn't too bad at all, all things considered, because it doesn't know that there is no break here in the kitchen. It's just interpreting it from very limited set of data. And if we were happy with that for a concept sketch, for instance, we could just simply insert that image into our drawing, pop it over here to the side, and immediately have an axonometric from this cabinetry layout. There's a few things that could be tweaked, adjusted, and improved, but as a starting point, it's incredible. We could then go ahead, add some arrows, add some leaders, add some text, go wood veneer to the fridge panel, update it and adjust it how we need it. Given that that's the very first axonometric with no adjustments to my prompts, I'm pretty happy with that. That's pretty good. If we wanted to push a bit further, let's ask it to replace the oven with a traditional style and see what it gives us. The second image, it's definitely reinvented the wheel again, flipped that kitchen, but it has done what I've asked and given me a more traditional oven without replacing the cooktop. I wasn't very specific, so again, that's my fault. I should have been specific and said cooktop as well. Nevertheless, it did an awesome job in the very limited time it had to achieve this. So what are my closing thoughts? We've gone through three different architectural workflows with AI. We've talked about generating blocks from elements and images. We've talked about generating renders from pictures and mood boards and created axonometrics from our internal cabinetry layouts. Well, first of all, the blocks are awesome. This is gonna save so much time throughout any documentation stage process. The renders, well, you know, they need a little bit of work to be able to actually use them. 
The quality of the renders is amazing. Realistically, this is near perfect if it was the right room and the right items. As a render itself, it's phenomenal. It's just not aligning to what I need it to be specifically. So if you were looking to use this mood board at an early concept stage, provide some renders on the side as mood board examples, then this is an amazing feature in the current beta form and with very limited AI skills and experience. You don't have to know how to write the perfect AI prompt. You can just go ahead and try your best to see what actually happens. And lastly, the axonometric views from the cabinetry layouts. I'm actually genuinely impressed. Even though this isn't perfect as per this elevation and I can visualize what this is meant to be, but the AI can't, this is still incredibly, incredibly impressive. The fact that it's bringing together these cabinetry drawings, putting the right colors in the fridges, the ovens, the chairs, and everything in between is absolutely game-changing. Give this a couple more weeks at the rate things are changing, and this will be near perfect. So I'm truly excited to see how far Rayon can push its AI capabilities and help all of us as architects, interior designers, speed up our workflow even more. Now, a couple items for best practice. Obviously, when we're generating things with AI, we need to double check our line weights. We need to make sure they're all aligned and we need to correct them if we're using them for professional practice. We want to use the AI generation as a starting block and then we want to add our own information on top. So by adding leaders, by adding text, by changing some of the elements, then we're making it our own. It's just meant to be a starting point. Make sure that when you are generating images from AI, you're still making sure you're putting them on the right layer, you're adjusting everything so your drawing set is cohesive regardless if there's AI or not. And finally, if you've created this beautiful block, spent all the time on it, then you want to go ahead and add it to your own block library so you can reuse it across all of your projects. Don't waste time building it for one and then building it again later down the track. Anyway, that's all from me, team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. And like always, I'll see you next week.